hey guys welcome back i should be saying thank you for being patient for waiting on us but yeah it's been a crazy almost one year you know a lot's going on between all the stuff that we had to get caught up on from covid such as weddings i had two weddings to go to basically had funerals to go to um and so forth so it kept us a little bit busy plus having to do our building of our dream home so basically we're just going to pick up where we left off on our dream home you know thank you guys for everyone who was reaching out we are so much appreciative that you guys still checking on us you know checking on my son you know he's doing much better he had his first surgery he's recovering i have recovered well i am still recovering from my sicknesses but you know seasonal so thank you guys so here we go with packing for our dream home yeah but I will not keep up my put my 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 thing okay so this is the TV The ark landed, guys. The ark landed. The ark landed. I missed it coming in. The ark landed. So, yeah. So this is my crate. I'll get it open. Okay, so you have to walk back to the gate. Go we'll get your transport. Get your gate pass. Transport. Yeah. Make sure if you're building a crate and you're using screws, make sure you walk with your own power drill because if you have to use theirs they charge you a fee which I think is for a really ridiculous fee I learned the hard way I did ask them if I needed it they told me no I end up leaving it and then come they said they would have they didn't say no they said they have down there so I don't need it they did not tell you that you have to pay to use it that's the trick so walk with your own drill guys to open your crate if you are doing it It might not look big, but as you can see, they're having a good time taking it out. It's um, eight by four. Well, it's a little bit wider and bigger because of how we made the top and the bottom. But we use um, four solid sheets of plywood and then we cut the other one into for the sides and, you know, lots of uh, two by fours and stuff to strengthen it. So yeah, it's at least eight by four um, crate. And yeah, very heavy. Hey, they complained that it was very heavy. Yeah, so building this crate, Kevin and I built this crate, it took us two days. We didn't do it on 
a constant level we did like an hour here an hour there because we were busy so we just did it in between and um it wasn't the building that was the hard part it was trying to get it into the work truck we didn't do it with any wheels on there and trying to push it up on the ramp of the truck and then trying to pack it inside the truck was a difficult part because trying to get some furniture pieces that we have in there luckily our sofa set that's in there um pull apart like section by section arms back everything pull apart so it wasn't that bad to pack but it was still difficult okay so we had gotten through that part and then we shipped okay this was the part never ever have I experienced this and it took forever for these items to get cleared and the funny thing is they try to give you all the stories they say it's in Montego Bay then they're gonna tell you that they had to send it back to Kingston because there was no um, place to store it then they're gonna tell you oh it didn't clear yet or the container is being stripped I'm like which one was it a couple of days ago you said it was stripped it was in Montego Bay then you say it went back to Kingston like it was all a run around but what made me so irritated about this was the fact that after I had shipped this particular um, shipment I had to turn around and ship another shipment because the whole family was going and it's a lot of us so we had to ship some snacks and stuff for the kids and whatever because you know they're very mm, particular in what they eat then I helped my mom with hers and then she ended up shipping hers off and my mom came my husband one that was shipped in his name came cleared collected and I still didn't have mine then you went to the office and they're gonna try to tell you that the credit that you get when you come into the airport that is expired um, that is not my fault that's what you heard in the beginning of the video I'm like I don't care I'm not leaving here without a credit apply because at the end of the day has nothing to do with me not collecting my shipment I've been waiting for my shipment you guys are the one who are delaying it and everything so the credit need to apply they did call around get it it did apply but I've never experienced this right now I reached a point where I rather bring how many suitcases on the plane than when you need certain things because it's becoming ridiculous with the shipping and when you have items that you really need I would suggest that you put them in a suitcase and carry it and the other stuff just wait and ship them but anything that you need sooner than later put them in your suitcase or your carry-on if they're not liquid or powder another thing guys if you don't have your rear ride pre-arranged before you get out there make sure that you shop around out there for a good deal because don't just take the first person that you meet or the first price that you get shop around ask around you know compare price you know because they'll eat you alive but anyways here we are on our way up to unload and unpack Now, my concern is, is everything in one piece? Because in the container, as I said, it's the first time we're ever building a container and shipping it. And much less packing it. So we're not sure if everything is going to be intact. We send down mirrors. We send down um, glass coffee table. But it's tempered glass. So I'm hoping that that is fine. But it's the fireplace and the, what do you call it? The mirror that I'm so concerned about because I don't know if those things you know are safe we wrap them and pack them as best that we could the TVs came down in one piece because we took them out of the, they went in their original boxes we wrapped them in blankets so a tip guys if you can wrap them in blankets and wrap them in other put them in other boxes so far we haven't had any TV that we have shipped that was ever broken 
so we took them out of their original box wrapped them in blankets and um, put them into a different box that we customized for the size and shape of the TV to give it more cushion than the cushion that the original TV is going to come in. So that's what we have done so far and we haven't had any issues with it so far. So what I forgot to do is to make sure that we have someone at the house to help us unload the, the container. Because it's one thing at the wharf to get the container into the truck with a forklift. But how are we going to get it out of the truck without a forklift? So <laughs> it was a challenge. But we figured it out. You know, my mason came, he helped us, and yeah. This is a part of the airport that they're going to be expanding. So anybody who don't know about the expansion of the Montego Bay Airport, yep, it's expanding, it's expanding. See, him have a good size, have a good size box, and his name is what's your name? Prento. Prento. Yeah. And give them your number, Prento. Eh? Give them your number. Eight eight nine seven seven one seven seven one six. Okay. Yeah. So as a Prento, anybody a ship and they are wharf. Yeah. Call him up. Good guy. Right. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't able to video us unpacking the truck unfortunately in the crate because I had nowhere to store the camera <laughs> and the footage that the kids um, they try to do it's like <laughs> it's kids you're trying to tell them to video something it's not gonna work so we didn't get any good footage of us you know unloading the truck and unpacking the container but as you can see it now be is now a playhouse for these kids till I scrap it apart so we will be using these plywood to do decking so that's the beauty of building your container because then you get to use the plywood back onto your building and also we use screws we didn't use nails to um, connect the container so we get to reuse the nails as well as the two by four so everything on the container was reusable that's kiki showing me how she's gonna beat me up because the internet wasn't working and she wanted to talk to her dad and i didn't make her talk to her dad so she's showing me how she's gonna beat me up but Anyways, make her have her day because <laughs> she's too funny. So we finally made it home. Didn't get to... Oh, we took it out and took it in but because I needed my help. So anyways, we started unpacking, right? So now we're trying to get to the other part of the barrel right now so we won't, we won't we don't need that right now to do that yep yeah so this is a center table and that is the coach i'll bring down all right there's a tempered glass double glass shelves can't crack yeah
So thank you guys for watching. There will be more videos to come with the building process of the dream home.